Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and this is kind of just a random knife talk video. We're going to kind of go into the weeds with this video. We're going to talk about steels, locks, and, you know, a bunch of little stuff in between. I'm going to try not to make it super long, but I kind of, you know, I like doing these videos. I know they don't get the best views, but sometimes it lets me just like kind of talk knives. So one, you know, the Hogue Deca using MagnaCut steel. Now, supposedly the new ones all have a better HRC, which I'm happy to hear uh, because, you know, the first one I tried had a little bit softer HRC. I'm not sure if this one's one of the new ones or not. So I need to get it tested and find out. I haven't even sharpened it yet, but I do want to send it in and get it tested. Uh, but yeah, that, that's great to hear that we hear all these companies upping their, their HRC on their magnet cut. And, you know, you kind of wish they would have just listened from the start so that you didn't have to go through getting a soft one. But I'm still very happy with it, that they, at least that they're doing it. Now, 14C, 28N steel. We're seeing it on everything, right? What do we have? Two knives on here that have it. This one and this one both have 14C. What a great steel. Now, let's talk about why it's such a good steel and why I always recommend it. So, it, was, it's, it comes from AEBL. And it is a steel that's made to be heat treated easily in mass production. And that's the beauty of it. Because remember, all these knives are mass production knives. So it's, you know, it's a steel that you can kind of guarantee it's going to be well heat treated. And even though it's not a super steel, it's not a steel that, you know, is going to hold its edge for eternity or anything like that, but it's super easy to sharpen, easy to maintain, meaning it strops back. It's very responsive to stropping. Um, it takes a ridiculous sharp edge. And that's one thing that I love about it the most is it takes nice low angle, high polished edges super, super well. But anyways, um, yeah, 14C is an amazing steel. Now, the CMB... And you know what? Just crossbar locks in general, right? I like crossbar locks. I love them. But, you know, some companies are kind of doing them a little bit mushy. Now, I think Hogue is doing an okay job, but some of their knives are not the strongest detents, right? They're a little bit on the weaker side. Oh, here's, here's one right here, like this one. This is a little bit spongy. You know, and, and I just, I wish that they would address that because all these other competition companies are like this one has a solid, look, watch, watch this when I close it. The thing has a solid detent. Same thing with these. Now these ones are adjustable. These ones have the, um, the clutch lock. So you can actually adjust the strength and you can replace the springs, which they send you to stronger ones. So they make it to where you can basically set it to however you want. And they come better than any Benjamin I've ever tried. They really do. And it's not that I want to crap on Benchmade because I don't. I like Benchmade. It's just a fact. You know, their crossbar locks, they knocked it out of the park. And since they are also using um, bearings in the pivot, it makes it to where... You know, they, they can get this super, super smooth action, even though it's rock solid lockup. And yeah, just the way they're doing it um, for the price and everything, they are super duper good. And it makes some of the other companies look bad. Even CMB, right? This is a very budget friendly knife. 50, around, around 50 bucks, 50, 60 bucks. This thing is so good. It has such a strong detent for a crossbar lock. Beautiful sharp and and plunge grind. 14C 28N steel. Nice micarta. Deep carry clip that's inset that is reversible. Um, yeah, I mean, it, I, I don't want to crap on some of the other companies. I don't want to do that. But they, they need to take note a little bit. Because these guys are, they're playing for keeps. They are playing for keeps these days. And it's not easy to keep up if you're, if you're not, if you're not playing ball, right? Meaning like, if you're not competing, you're going to get left behind. You know, there's just, there's no room for, for soft, mushy action in 2023. We don't need it. Now, of course, I love the slow roll on this and I like a good slow roll in action. Don't get me wrong. I'm getting old, you know, I'm getting up there. So I like a good slow roll in action, but there's nothing like a nice crispy detent because, you know, and this thing is everything but that. <laughs> But I love the knife, though. Love the knife a lot. Uh, one of my favorite work knives. 
Anyways, what else did I want to talk about? I want to talk about something else. I forget what it was. Um, oh, you know, the Mannix, right? Because talking about crossbar locks, you know, with a crossbar lock, an access style lock, you know, they're very strong, very durable. And by the way, this is the Hogue Deca in Magna Cut Steel with the original goat scales. So I have the original goat linked down in the description with a discount code amazing if you have a hogue deca they have other scales too by the way spider co's they have demco 80 20.5s they have uh even uh some cold steel 80 15s i think they even have a hogue ritter now um so anyways all different kinds of scales from titanium to aluminum really cool patterns but it makes this knife so solid like i absolutely love this knife because of it now where i was going with it is that this is kind of like a crossbar lock, except for you're using a ball instead of a bar. So a crossbar lock uses a bar. This uses a steel ball, but it's a different kind of spring. And because of the type of spring it is, it allows it to be even more tension. So this actually has a good detent, in my opinion, for the hole deployment. It actually has some resistance and it locks up like a vault and it's like it's a type of lock because it's a a spring pushing a ball engaging it behind the tang of the blade it just stays solid forever like i don't i don't think i've ever felt a manix that you know where the pivot was tight and everything that had play i've never felt one with up and down not even a little bit not even the wore out ones now i'm not saying that they can't be wore out but because they are so durable and they last so long and they do so well why are we not seeing more locks like this i just don't get it did, did spider go patent this maybe they did i don't know um, maybe I should have looked that up before filming this video, <laughs> kind of going off the cuff here, guys. Anyways, I think it would be so awesome to see that, but you know, anyways, this is kind of just a, a, a rant video, just, you know, some knife talk stuff. You know, like I said, I know a lot of you guys, you know, would rather the fast, uh, content, you know, and, um, you don't really like the, the knife talk content, but you know, some of you guys do, and I know I enjoy talking about it and I'd do way more videos like this if more people enjoyed them, but I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.